Seriously, guys, um, Jeff Loomis is in the house with this awesome Jackson Kelly, and I mean, I could have just gone on for another bloody hour, and nobody would have said nothing. I mean, this thing is epic. Nothing says more metal than this guitar that I've had, at least in the long run. Okay, maybe the Solar, Solar, totally, but this thing is, whew, wow, wow. Uh, playability is disgusting. I mean, it's right out of the box. Thank you, Jackson, and hails to uh, Long and McQuaid. This thing's not technically even out yet. I know it is in the States, but Canada, I haven't seen. This is the only one. Thank you so much. So, calm down. Let's run a couple things. Let's run through what this thing is about, and then we'll get to playing. All right? All right, so here we go. Uh, a little bit about this guitar. So, we know it's a Jeff Loomis. It's a Pro Series Jackson. Uh, it's a Kelly, and it's a Signature Series. It is the... Um, the HT Hardtail 6, okay? So body is my basswood, so satin finish. Three-piece maple neck uh, through body with a graphite reinforcement. Neck finish is satin, fingerboard, 12 to 16 compound radius. For those who want to know, because it's in Canada, hello, it's in Canada, 304.8 millimeter to 406.4 millimeters. 24 frets. Material is, of course, GraphTech on the, the nuts. Ah, perloids, shark fins for the inlays. These are awesome. And uh, machine tuners, uh, the Jackson diecast uh, locking, which is great. The bridge is a hip shot. And, of course, it's got the Jeff Loomis Signature Series blackouts on his... Uh, on his uh, yes. Yeah, throw these out there. So, boom. I don't know where they're going. Who cares? Let's run through this thing. I don't have really much, you know, one volume and a three-way toggle switch because this thing is... Yo, what's up? Yeah, totally, right? Absolutely, um, and of course the neck, it's got full access, you can get right in there, and uh, the balance is great, it's just, it's a mean, mean machine. <laughs> uh, yeah, wow, okay, let's go through it, so right now I'm, I'm where I should be, and it's not split, I had to check because sometimes I mess these things up, so, alright, let's do this. <laughs> Go to the middle position. Bingo. <laughs> Cool. Um, and of course, the top picket, which I generally don't use, but for research purposes, yeah, let's go to the next pickup. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Holy. Um, yeah, what can I tell you about the guitar? Okay. Playability, it feels very comfortable. It's a nice, it's not a thick neck, it's a shallow neck, so you got a nice grip. Reminds me of a gem. Uh, there's been a couple of questions, people are like, you know, what's, what are some of the Jackson, you know, what, what do they feel like? So, uh, arguably, yeah, it could be a gem, a gem neck, definitely. Uh, it's slim tapered all the way up. It's got that shallowness, uh, accessibility at the back. Is this a great starter guitar? Well, Canada price range of $2,100. If you start with this guitar, you better damn well finish with this guitar. This is not a beginner's uh, axe. Can it be? Absolutely. Any guitar could be a beginner's guitar. It depends how much you want to spend for your kid or for yourself. Uh, is it a collector piece? Yeah, this thing is just sick. The grain, you can just sit back and just look at the grain, and it just looks amazing. It doesn't need a lot of detail for this sucker because just, everything just pops on it. And the one volume with the toggle switch... I mean, I would have been happy just with the volume and one pickup, and you wouldn't need a toggle switch. Just the volume. Jeff, think about it. Think about it, Jeff. It's awesome. Um, battery compartment, 9 volt in the back. So I like the pickups. The simplicity of it. I can't really tell you much more. Um, I like pointy guitars. And with the white binding, it's just, it just it's classy. It's really, really classy. So I'm, uh, I'm a fan. Seriously. Let's play some more. Uh, you guys got, <laughs> who's got Kelly's? I don't have an official Kelly. I did give one away last year at my birthday party. Uh, show, but uh, I technically don't have one. I still want to get the uh, the Brandon Ellis, uh, the Crackle with the one volume. Yeah, that's the one. So, but otherwise, simplicity at its best. Check out Long and McQuaid across Canada or Sam Ash in the States, Guitar Center States. And if you are so lucky to even find another one on Marketplace, try Marketplace or even eBay. But uh, definitely hit up your local music store. If you don't have the funds to dish out right now, Long and McQuaid does do payments. I'm just saying, you know, you can rack up your credit card or you can do some payments, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's all I really got to say, man. Um, thanks for watching. You guys have been fantastic. Uh, it's a quick review on this guitar. It is sick. So, um, my opinion, yeah, 10 out of 10, man. Jackson really nailed it out of, out of the, yeah, nailed it out of the park on this one. And I am getting, uh, I'm getting used to the raised, I'm getting used to the raised logos. At first, <coughs> it's kind of like half and half, but you know what? They've kind of grown on me, especially on this guitar. It really, it pops, right? Look at that, it pops, right? Right, yeah, totally. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, love and support. We're getting closer to the end of the year. I'm um, going on holidays, so I'll have a couple of pre-done stuff for you guys to watch. And thank you for your support this year. Numbers are doing great. Much love, mad respect. House uh, of Las Chingas t-shirts, guys are awesome. And uh, of course, I got another review coming up pretty soon. So same bat time, same bat channel. Let's see what I'm going to be bringing to the ballpark next time. All right. See you guys. Smash the like. That'd be awesome. Smash, smash, smash the like. Thanks. Mad respect. See ya. Let's just keep playing this thing. <laughs>